Hi students, welcome. So now we are discussing about how to draw the hexagonal pyramid as per our problem. Clear? So our problem is a hexagonal pyramid of base side 25 mm and height 65 mm rest on the HP on one of its edges such that the triangular face containing the resting the edge is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. Draw its projection. Clear. First, we draw a reference XY. Clear. So, the hexagon position is this one. Clear. Because this is the resting edge base. Therefore, right side we consider as straight line. So, instead of corner, we put straight line. And one more thing, this is the pyramid, therefore the slant edges are visible clear in top view. So therefore, first you draw the top view, hexagonal, the regular hexagon and the slant edges also is there. Then we assign the number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and apex O clear so now this one is you know that it is XY reference clear so then you we draw the projection line here to here this is 1 comma 6 this is 2 axis and center O 5 and this is 3 comma 4 clear now before tilting the completely the solid the hexagonal prism base is completely resting on HP clear and this is height of the pyramid clear so while seeing that front view here one edge slant edge here number 2 o slant edge and 3 o slant edge clear so these are visible and O4, O5, O6 that slant edges are invisible but the visible O1 and invisible O6 both are coincide so therefore this is 1 dash comma 6 dash 2 dash comma 5 dash 3 dash comma 4 dash clear and this one is apex O dash so it is top view and front view then so this is the slant edge clear slant edge in front view but actually o 3 4 that is o 3 4 this is the triangular face here so that triangular face now it is inclined to hp but we need the triangular face is perpendicular to hp clear so then you draw that perpendicular line of base because that edge o 2 2 clear so this one so now so this is as it is 1 dash 2 dash this is 3 dash comma 4 dash 2 dash comma 5 dash and 1 comma 6 dash and apex o dash so first diagram second diagram second and third both are same shape and size we get that one then we draw the projection line from 1 comma 6 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 as and also o also because it is vertical clear then from 5 from 6 and 4 o 1 and 3 and 2 clear now what are the where is the intersection points the 1 versus 1 this one 1 and 2 2 and 2 3 and 3 apex o and o 
next 4 and 4 this is 4 and this is 4 where 3 so 1 2 3 apex o 4 then 5 and 5 6 and 6 clear so this one so now in top view while seeing in top view so what are the base edges are visible means let us see from here so in top view the base hexagon is 50 percent visible 50 percent invisible that 50 percent visible what are that means let us see from this direction also in this case so 5 to 6 6 to 1 1 to 2 visible 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 invisible clear so 5 to 6 visible 6 to 1 visible 1 to 2 visible but 2 to 3 invisible clear and next one is 3 to 4 invisible actually actually it's invisible then 4 to 5 invisible clear actual case but while and then you draw the slant edges in top you o1 o6 o2 o5 all are visible clear so therefore o1 o6 o2 and o5 visible but now here let's see in top view that slant edges is overlapping and also that actual header line now it comes visible okay in practically we take that hexagonal pyramid component based on that condition we tilt it we let's see that component it's completely it's visible okay as per that case because 3 to 4 it's overlapping with center wall so therefore 3 4 is clearly visible no that's one so our final answer actually okay so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here o apex therefore you join all the points clear that's one so this is the solution for the given problem clear thank you